My name is Metin Arıbaşar. This is 112th part of explanation of my theory. According to my theory and my formulas, electric charge is unitless. But how? Remember from my former videos, this is electron motion form. In all our atoms and it's bounded. Now it is bounded one proton and constituent part of hydrogen. This small part intertwined not around the nucleus. Cycling, cycling, bounded, joint motion form. By joint motion form, hydrogen proton, and this is our in balance electron motion form. Motion form. It has point mass. It has point energy. It has linear velocity. It is spherical. This this side this is Ricci linear velocity and first first cycle and equal to one linear velocity is one million eight hundred eighty four thousand kilometer per second. Remember, this is one opponent and and each cycle each cycle speed of light in this direction linear velocity in this direction therefore remember from my former videos an electron motion form has two mass components one of c direction speed of light direction component mass i have computed and i have told before in my former videos c direction Component mass, I have computed according to my theory and my formulas, is 2.42 10 to the minus 35 kilogram. And linear velocity component mass, I have computed, which component mass is 3.42. 85 10 to the minus 36 kilogram. Now, this is lambda n. Lambda n 91.22.23 nanometer for in balance electron motion form not disturbed electron motion form and its first cycle yes now i think of i have think of yesterday or yes yesterday can i compute according to my formulas and my theory I assume this is point, this is not electron rotate around or orbit around nucleus, but this is point mass, okay, point mass, point mass and cycling, okay, because of 
this electron motion form bounded with proton, they will, it will not produce and pro propagate successive waves. This is another subject, different subject. Okay, I have told you before again and again. Now, I think this mass component that, have, that has two components rotating or orbiting as if orbiting okay cycling itself in fact then remember classical energy formula m velocity square divided by radius but like this but i didn't i didn't write down uh, because of for each cycle for point mass lambda n and n multiplied by lambda n what say there is intrinsically intrinsically it has radius i have computed relates to the, that already i will tell next I don't want to confuse your mind now. Now, we will, or I will, compute C direction component energy. What is that? I don't know. I have computed then here. I hope you see snapshot. Okay, I hope you see. Now, here C direction component mass for mass energy, its motion, cycling motion, EC equal to M velocity square or MC here multiplied by c square yes mc c component mass i have computed before 2.42 10 to the minus 35 kilogram multiplied by c square is equal to so interesting 21.78 10 to the minus 19 kilogram meter square divided by second square this is joule and this is just this is just remember ground state energy of electron in hydrogen 21.78 10 to the minus 89 joule is it coincidence? Coincidence? Because of, according to accepted physics, electron mass is not 2.42 10 to the minus 35 kilogram. I remember it. Uh, it was 9.11, 9.11 10 to the minus 31 kilogram. I guess, but so different. Okay how my formulas i have computed according to my theory and my formulas how i can find this just this ground state hydrogen electrons ground state energy in balance not disturbed energy wait a moment Moreover, moreover, 
So interesting. This is, this is, this is C component of C component mass cycling energy. Now I have computed for linear velocity 1,884,000 km per second velocity, constant velocity, linear velocity, Vg component mass 3.85 10 to the minus 36 kg. Yes, EVG energy. What about this side energy? If we if we meet in this direction, this is the energy. But if we meet this energy cycling cycling our atoms made this energy cycling joint motion interaction this side mechanic mechanical 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 interaction component energy in kilogram metric kilo kilogram meter square divided by second square joule now linear velocity component for linear velocity component mass EVG 3.85 10 to the minus 36 kilogram multiplied by 1,884,000 kilometer per second square is equal to so interesting and in joule 13.6 but 10 to the minus 20 kilogram square divided by second square same this is joule yes joule joule here and this is joule also not electron volt there is no electron volt in this mine computation no electron volt here this is 21.78 10 to the minus 18 kilogram meter kilogram meter square divided by second square joule this is 13.6 again joule but remember remember ground state energy of electron in hydrogen is 21.78 10 to the minus 18 joule same or 13.6 Electron volt, but here 13.6 10 to the minus 20 joule. And when I divided them like this, okay, here Q one point. 602 10 to the minus 17 Coulomb I guess Coulomb I guess 4 or Joule now confused but this is the figure it has unit for electron okay I guess 1.602 10 to the minus 
19 Coulomb for electron. Yes. But 21.78 Joule divided by 13.6 Joule is equal to 10 to the minus, no, 21.78 10, 10 to the minus 19 Joule divided by 13.6 10 to the minus 20 Joule is equal to 1.6 10 to the minus 1 not unit no unit unitless now I ask is the charge unitless or I think charge is unitless and there is two different components C component mass different interaction mechanical interaction component energy in joule and mechanical interaction component mass in this direction maybe waiting waiting or striking and this one electronic interaction electronic and electrical interaction component mass and electronic or electrical interaction complement of energy in joule story is so long and i will go on understand i will go on put forth i will go on explain step by step have a good evening See you later.